you you look at these, you feel them. They're crusty. They're dried. Yeah. You wouldn't think there'd be anything but a seed in there. Or it looks like a sticker or something you'd find out in the pasture, you know. Mhm. So anyway. Looks like something you'd find dried up, crusty, and fallen off an animal. If you know what I mean. <laughs> So the other day when we were making cookies, we got pooped out and we didn't finish them. So today we are finishing up our Christmas cutout cookies. Brooke's getting them cut out. Miley's making herself a drink. Get some all squished in there. Get as many cut out of one rolling as possible. Yes. Miley's getting the traditional Santa's cookie cut out. Always have to make a big one for Santa every year. There you go. I was just thinking that we should probably cut that one out before. Yeah, get that one cut out first so we were sure we have enough dough. So today was Brooke's official last day at Walmart. Yes, super excited. Relieved. Yes. Yep. So we're having a big party by baking cookies tonight. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, baking cookies are fun. And decorating them, right? Yeah, Maybe. decorating them. Staying up late and decorating them. So, Don't worry, I'll decorate anyway, them there's no yet. more getting up at three o'clock in the morning and having no. to go to work anymore. So that'll be fun. That's a relief off my back. <laughs> yeah. So we got our cookies baked, and my helpers both gave up on me. Miley fell asleep on the couch, and Brooke went to lay down to take a little rest because she was tired from getting up so early this morning. We decided we didn't quite have enough sugar cookies, so I just mixed up another double batch. I'm going to put that batch in the fridge, then I'm going to let the kids sleep for a little bit while I get supper going. Then after supper, we're going to bake some more, and then we are going to decorate. So I was putting the cookie dough away, and I ran onto these things in the fridge. Have you guys ever seen or tried these things before? They're ram buttons, I guess is how you pronounce it. The other day, Brooke brought these home, and she sliced one open, and she wanted me to try it, and I was like, are you serious? I was just creeped out by them. So I bravely opened it up and actually tried it, and it was actually really good, surprisingly. So when Dylan and Michael got in that night, um, Brooke got them out and had them try them, and it was pretty hysterical, as you see here. Porcupine eggs. What in the world? <laughs> I'm concerned. You put that in the fridge, too. It's porcupine eggs. Let me 
let me cut open another one so way you guys can open them up at the same time. You can't look at it, you know. It already has it been. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, careful because um, there is a seed inside of it, so don't just like immediately bite bite into it. But is it good? You you'll just have to try. Did it. you eat one earlier? You'll just have to try it. You know, it tastes so familiar. Yes, what does it taste like? Brooke showed me those things, and I was like, <laughs> who? would pick one of those things and be like, I'm going to crack it open and eat it. Someone picked that up and they're like, I don't know how, but I'm going to eat this thing. <laughs> These are the strangest things. I have never in my life seen anything like them before. But they're actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. They're sweet. Are they baby coconuts or what are they? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know how you pronounce that. Rambudden. Rim, yeah. Rambudden. Fresh Rambudden. It's from Asia. Well, it's from Honduras. Oh. So. Anyway, Brooke seen him and bought him mm -hmm. from. Walmart. Sir, chill, discard the pit. Okay, so let's... And you can actually grow them, too. You can just stick them in, in soil and grow them, but they they won't survive in cold temps. At least, we'd have to keep it in the house. Yeah, we'd have to keep them in the house, but... Um, they, uh, they have, like, a lot of health benefits to them, too. Mm-hmm. So... No, they're not bad, I don't know. They're just having hard to eat. Right? Yeah, they've got that skin around them. <laughs> it's the skin around the pit that's unchewable. The whole thing's almost unchewable. <laughs> um, nah, I, I like it. Yeah, this is actually kind of like my third one. <laughs> so. But I, I do. Have, they have a flavor that is so familiar. Kiwi. Is it kiwi? Tastes kind of like kiwi. No. I want to save one of these and then give it to Grandma. <laughs> yes. I'd like to save one of the pit and try to grow one. Grandma probably won't eat it. I, uh, um, I want to crack it half open like what I did with you and then have her open it. Yeah. I mean, I was scared like when she did that and I, I cracked it open. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, her face is like... <laughs> And then she hurried up and closed it. And like after she cracked it just a smidge. <laughs> she was like horrified at it. I should have got that on camera. And then I touched it. And then it had a <laughs> hor uh, like a weird. You jumped back too. <laughs> you, you look at these. You feel them. They're crusty. They're dried. Yeah. You wouldn't think there'd be anything but a seed in there. It looks like a sticker or something you'd find out in the pasture, you know? Mm hmm So, anyway. 
Looks like something you'd find dried up, crusty, and fallen off an animal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, I have one to eat another one, no. You don't? I'm, I'm good. Oh, I think they were good. I thought they were good. Like, it was yeah. sweet. It was, it was a nice treat, but... Uh, it's it's hard to eat. It's that skin around the, the pit that's... Maybe you got one that wasn't quite ripe or something, you know? Maybe you need to, you need to at least give them a, like a second chance sometime. You have to try 20 of them before you yeah. say you. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, it's 10. It. Yeah. 10. You know how that rule is when you try a new food and you don't like it, you gotta try it at least 10, 10 times, times before you can declare you don't officially like it. Well, it's a couple hours later and the helpers are back up and at them. And we are cutting <coughs> out the cookies. Now these cookies, we noticed that they have an awesome texture compared to the last ones. They're easier to cut out and everything, and it's we think it's because we used lard. I think lard's the magic ingredient. Wouldn't you say? Yes. The big question will be whether or not they taste good once they're baked. Mark always uses up the last dab of dough by pressing it in there. I don't know why we ever thought of that like several years ago. Yeah, that works wonderfully, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Just... <coughs> uh, yeah, they might be a little thicker than... But it's okay. <laughs> yeah.